your goal is to create happy customers who then create other happy customers. So congratulations! Here's what I've learned. The best of the best have got the problem. We're selling, going, going. Gone, so congratulations. Let's have a look at the facts. Watch your goal for the next six months. Today I'm privileged to be interviewing Megan Jaffe, the owner of the number one Ray White office in the world, riding $14 million in gross commission income. In seven, eight years, she's gone from being someone that's joined real estate to running one of the best businesses on the planet. How are you going, Megan? Very good, thank you. Hey, how good is this? The number one office worldwide for Ray White. Gang, let me just tell you some of these numbers. These numbers are 14 million in gross commission income for the financial year ending 2015. We're talking about from January to August in 2015 calendar year, they have done 11 million in gross fees. We are talking about a rock star business. Okay, I want to ask you this question. What happens when you've got salespeople that have got the gift of the gab, they can speak, but they're highly disorganized? Um, do you see that happening? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> So, Every day, that's my life. That's your life. So, so how do you work with those people? What do you do? Well, it's one day at a time. And I believe in small incremental improvements every day to achieve excellence. So what we do is we put the platform and the foundation in place in their business and we absolutely keep coming back to the daily disciplines of what we've discussed which relates to how we lead gener generate, how we pipeline, how we list, how we sell. So that that's the critical one of the critical parts of our day of, of our um, of our business it's how we structure that into our real estate week our ideal real estate week and so it's structuring that into the week and I hold them to task and then they've put the the the, um, the activities they're going to do into that ideal real estate week and they account to me the numbers that they agree to to achieve the goals they want to achieve to link back into the business plan that we've agreed to okay your role in the business now is what Megan it's a, it's, it's a performance coach. Okay, so you, 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 you coach people. Yep. Can I ask you, how do you get someone from 500,000 to a million in fees? Well, first, well, I have not met a person that couldn't be better than they are today. I haven't met a single salesperson who hasn't wanted to do better right. and, 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 and that isn't capable of doing better. So the first thing is it always starts with what's going on inside your head. So I work very closely inside it, in, with Headspace. So we do a lot of stuff to keep ourselves as a good person on track. There's so much insecurity in the business that, we, that we've chosen to be in um, because it's like that, isn't it? With the things that happen to us in a day. So get, let's talk about that. How vital is the Headspace? Like, do you say that it's more important than skills? Do you think skills are more important? What, what, what's your feeling? Well, it's an integrated approach, but I think headspace, self, what you do on yourself and how you are as a person and how you've got yourself together, that is the, that is the fundamental. It's a fundamental in real estate, but it's a fundamental in life. So, you know, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're not on track, I know, and if I'm not on track, you know. You can tell. Okay, my final question, Megan, is this. If you were starting, if there's a young person out there right now watching this video, if you were starting in real estate again, day one, what are three non-negotiables you'd hold yourself accountable to? 